Okay guys, so I went ahead and did my eyebrows already. Before anything, I do want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I hope you guys had a good one and a good Christmas also. I'm gonna go in with my infallible, of course you guys already know. You guys, I yesterday, según yo, I was gonna film this video, Fix Plus, and I filmed like half of it and then I had to go pick up Nathan to school. So I didn't end up finishing it, so I'm re redoing it. And then also Bella woke up in the middle of it yesterday and she was not having it. She woke up in a really, really bad mood. So I was like, oh, ni modo, I have to do it tomorrow. So I'm right here. I literally have her right next to me. Aquí está. And she's eating some Cheetos. A lot of people used to tell me, yeah, she'll grow out of being Chiyona, you know. And it has not happened. She has not grown out of it. And I, I already lost Esperanzas. She's just like a big ass crybaby. She just cries for everything um and the only thing she wants is her mother i'm the only one that can do anything to help her out even if sergio's right there like there's nothing he can do she'll still cry until she gets me obviously it's difficult for me we might be going to cali maybe again because of you guys already know what happened that we've been having like family thing that um someone's in the hospital so we have been going i mean we were there you know luckily we were already there but when it happened we will be going more often to cali so just excuse my three lashes that i have left i did end up getting eyelash extensions and okay let me tell you guys about what happened so if you guys do hear something right here then i already told you guys this, it's my daughter i have her in her little sillita de comer and she's eating chips so I went to Cali and of course my mom and I had been wanting to get our lashes done. I wanted to give that to my mom as a gift for her birthday. Her birthday is in, in November and you know I had asked her if she wanted that for her birthday and she had said yes but um, she didn't have time to like get them done because she's been working so much. So finally she's like oh yeah let's get them done for like Christmas ish you know around that time i put it on my stories i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys saw that i was putting it like on my stories on instagram i mean i kept mentioning like what you guys thought about it just because i was a little iffy about it um i just didn't like the idea of me having to not wash not like put water on my face and just being very careful with that obviously i had to wash my face you know but just me being careful with that, like, was something that I was like, oh my gosh, no, hell no. Um, so the day came, and we were so excited. My mom and I were so excited to finally, you know, get our lashes done. I, I really like them, but not for myself, not for the style that I usually wear. I really like them for someone that doesn't really wear lashes, doesn't really wear makeup, and someone that is just, like, looking to go to the gym and just wear some cute lashes, look cute to the gym. For me, I just felt like they were super natural, and you could not even tell that I had lashes on so i was just not pleased with them even sergio was like and honestly you guys yes yeah, she did ask me if i wanted to add more but i was so irritated i was done my eyes were red i was like you know what i don't want anything done anymore um i just want to get out of the chair a lot of people were telling me like no you got them too natural you got them too natural you go with someone more experienced people were sending me their lash artists for her, for them to fix it and honestly you guys i was so you guys, it was, my patience was that done. It was like, you know when they do the little meme? Um, it was that bad that I was just like, I never ever want to lay in a bed like that and ever get my lashes. Props to you guys, whoever sits for two and a half hours every two weeks to get your lashes done because I don't know how you do it and I would never be able to do that. They slowly fell off. The last ones I did try to kind of pull off because they started looking stupid. But yeah, you guys, I know it turned into a little story time, but I just wanted to let you guys know like all the details. Today, Nathan has um, swimming lessons today. I'm so excited because, well, you guys already know that he, he, he has already been twice in soccer. That's one of the privileges of being a stay-at-home mom is being able to put him in sports and that's actually really good because I always wanted, I just want him to to have something to focus on and not be bored, you know, because I feel like the moment that your kids get bored is when they, they turn to like, oh, I'm bored, let me go do, I'm not saying just because they play a sport they're not going to be bad, but it's less likely for them to, you know, 
So I want him to find whatever he's passionate about. I'm not going to force him to be in a sport that I want him to be in. Or Sergio, you know. It's not like our place to do that. Whatever sports he decides to play, then that is up to him. And he will be, we will support him 100%. He loves swimming already. If you guys have been following me for a very long time, you guys know that. We had a pool in our other apartment. And he loved the pool. He would always want to be there 24-7. And I'm kind of doing it more for safety. In the future, we do hopefully, you know, plan on having a bigger house. And, you know, one day hopefully um, have a pool also. So I want him to know. And I feel like swimming, I learned at a very young age how to swim. And it was always very, there's no cons to learning how to swim. It's always important. There's always so many positives to learning how to swim. Why not? By the way, you guys, I'm using all ColourPop um, X's and O's. I didn't contour or cream contour today because um, I couldn't find my concealer. I think it's all the way upstairs. And I'm in the bottom, bottom floor. So, que flojera. No, bebe. No hagas así. No le hagas así. No le hagas así. No le hagas así. Como que he? <laughs> oh, and I'm using this Dragon Beauty powder to set my under eyes. I love it, guys. It's kind of like a yellow tone to it. So I hope that her screaming is not picking up too much in the camera because it's pretty loud. <laughs> you guys, this has been my, my makeup every single day lately. No! No! It's not funny. Damelo. Damelo. You guys, so this has literally been my everyday makeup. I know I'm not done yet. Hold on. But I have, I literally finished like in, obviously I took longer because I did the video, but usually when I'm going somewhere, I usually take like a good 10, 20 minutes. No, not 10 minutes, like 20. But I used to take an hour. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes really quick. And I'll be back to show you guys what I look like. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my little get ready with me. It kind of turned into like a little story time. The only thing I did do a little bit different is my lipstick. Um, I usually just use my infallible lipstick, but I cannot find it. I don't know where it's at. So, I went ahead and used my ColourPop Gold Digger uh, Lippy Stick. And Super Bomb, I love this one. It feels so lightweight and I, I like it. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this video if you guys haven't already please be sure to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notifications and give me a like also leave a comment down below if you guys enjoy mukbangs I love doing mukbangs I love eating do want to do the cheesy cheesy spicy noodle challenge um, I've seen a lot of people do it y como que se me antojo, but then again I'm like a little bit asqueada like oh it kind of doesn't look too good I think that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for watching I'm about to take Nathan to swim practice also guys don't forget to subscribe to our family channel I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye <laughs>